Gaffer, that was more like it. Yeah, that felt a lot better than Tuesday night, obviously. So, better performance as well. We started the game well. Um, wasn't pretty for the first 10 minutes. We played the ball into their half quite a bit, went a bit more direct than what we usually do, and landed on second balls and earned the right to play. So, yeah, really pleasing afternoon. I'm just buzzing to get the first win, first away win of the season, and take that one off. You mentioned a few times in pre-season and during the season itself about being clinical. I felt like your team were clinical today. We were, yeah, because I think Forest Green had a couple of chances before we scored. So, um, and that's the difference. These games in League One, there's no, there's no runaway games. You don't control games for 90 minutes. Um, you have just got to make the most of your chances that that you get. And thankfully today, our two fell to two quality players in and around their box. Um, the information was to shoot hard and low <laughs> across the goalkeeper. So. Perfect for execution for them as well, and and yeah, uh, made up for the pair of them. Two good goals. Felt a little bit like at one nil it could have gone either way, but scoring the second goal really quickly, it felt like we had a little bit more control after that. The two nil cushion was something psychological there. Yeah, because well, the longer that the game goes on at one nil, they're only ever one chance away or you know, scruffy set players running away from getting back into it. But you know, we had to defend properly today. It was quite tough to play against Forest Green the way they play, and um, you know everybody to a man got the. Um, got the detail right when we didn't have the ball and then when we did get our chances as you just said we were clinical with it and it gives you a bit of breathing space and then we kept going in the second half we didn't want to sit back and you know, soak up 2-0 and invite pressure we still tried to keep playing forward and I was made up for Niall Ennis who I thought was outstanding um, to get his goal as well to make it 3-0 and give us all what well, basically sealed the win You touched on the goals a little bit already but they were three really well taken goals weren't they and good moves leading up to them as well as the finishes that's every goal counts if it's scruffy or otherwise but you must feel good that there were three really good goals yeah they were good goals but the, the second goal came from a good clearance so it wasn't a brilliant build up from the back and all lovely football it was a basic it was a good clearance it was a solid contact from Scarzi we competed for the second ball which we didn't do enough on Tuesday night we landed on the second ball and then we went from there mm-hmm. and that's that's what you've got to do sometimes the first goal was the same um, the third goal was a lovely work move because we had a few more passes into it spun it into the right area Danny made a brilliant run and, and Niall finishes so it's not it's not rocket science football it really isn't it's quite simple but if you don't do the basics right then you know you got punished and like we did on Tuesday today we got the basics better and, and managed to win Going into the game you made five changes from the team that played on Tuesday night can you tell us a little bit about your thinking behind those? Yeah I thought um, I thought a few people deserved to play so again Niall come on the pitch on um, Tuesday night and was a handful he's been training really well so deserved an opportunity to start um, Matt Butcher coming into the team instead of Jordan Houghton just felt three games in a week for Jordan Houghton probably too much and we keep saying we're going to use the squad well this was a perfect opportunity to do that um, Macaulay Gillespie's got a slight tight groin so no point in risking him Brendan again as well is, is ready he's fit he, he deserves his opportunity Nigel is an enforced change which we have to make um, who's the other one? Danny Mayer back in Danny, yeah. so, instead of Morgan now that was a tough one because I thought Morgan was brilliant on Tuesday. well he was probably our best player on Tuesday he had a good game but I, I went with, with Finn and, and Danny early on and Finn scores the goal but Morgan comes on doesn't sulk comes on does brilliant gets us up the pitch relieves pressure second half and thought all the changes worked yeah. one little other change with two players that have played all the games so far but they switched over Barley and Joe you, they, you swapped their wing back positions today yeah so um, we wanted to try and press higher on our right, their left hand side, because Bailey Cargill's really good on the ball and you can't give him time. So we just felt if we put Barley up there, um, when, if we did ever win the ball back, he'd be higher up the pitch and be able to get at, at the centre back 1v1. And Joe, because we at times you sort of look like a back four today with Nigel playing so wide, then Joe's more natural defender than Barley. So it just made sense to switch them over. And, and yeah, th- again, thankfully it worked because Barley gets in behind on a turnover and, and we score. So Sometimes all the decisions go for you, other times they don't. It's, uh, it's a rare free week um, going into uh, next Saturday. Is that a good thing or is that a bad thing, getting the week off? I suppose you can freshen some legs up, but a bit of momentum now, you don't play again. <laughs> yeah, no, no, we need a rest. Um, it's been a tough couple of weeks, especially with the journeys this week. Uh, no, horrendous journey home on, on Tuesday night after Charlton, the players again. Um, put the, the work rate in today but we thought we were fantastic we'd give them a day off now tomorrow on Monday just let them shut down for an extra day uh, back in on Tuesday ready to go to work on um, on Saturday at Bolton so yeah good really pleased with today but it's just, just another game we've got to prepare as well as we possibly can for, for the next one